Rocket Launcher. This time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitch here, and welcome back to Hack 5. If you remember back to the episode I did about the Nintendo Power Glove, at the beginning of that, we mentioned the air cannon I built while out in Seattle. Now, a friend of mine, El Cantaro, over on Twitter, had actually asked me whether or not I could build him an air cannon for DEF CON to be able to launch plush pineapples, plush bananas, and basically any other plush fr fruit he happens to find while over in Japan. And so I, of course, said, I can try. And that is how we came up with this. Now, before we get into the new cannon, let's talk about some flaws with the old one. So, some issues that this one had was it was made out of threaded pipe. Now, this is Schedule 80 pipe, which is great for air cannons. It's a lot higher pressure than uh, just Schedule 40 pipe. The walls are thicker, it's made out of a denser material, it's all around better. But one of the problems is, I used threaded pipe. Now, you can get all kinds of pipe dope, thread tape, and other things to make it seal, but at the end of the day, it's just not that great. Uh, and on top of that, I used a two-inch ball valve, and these ball valves are really great for water, but they will leak a lot with just air. You can do different things to lubricate and make them seal better, but it was just proving to be a little too difficult to make reliable. And the other thing was, I was using a foot pump and a rear-mounted Schrader valve, and it was just a really cumbersome, awkward thing to carry and maneuver around. It worked, but it did not work very well. And that brings us to version 2. Let me show you its features. Ha ha ha. Slingshot channel references aside, this thing's actually pretty cool. It turned out really well and it came together pretty quickly. I put it together in about 36 hours, including the time of designing the new brackets and letting all the adhesive and everything cure. So basically what we have here is this is just Schedule 40 pipe. However, it is rated Schedule 40 pipe. It has a max wall pressure of 280 PSI. So I do feel relatively comfortable running it up to about 90 PSI, which gives us almost a 3 to 1 safety margin. As long as you don't drop it. Yeah, don't do that when these are pressurized. If you ever drop an air cannon, uh, just don't use it again because you can cause micro fractures in the PVC. So what else we have going on here is an air pump. This is actually an electric bicycle pump off of Amazon. I'll have a link for it down in the description. And basically, this lets me set the pressure on the pump, turn it on, and it will automatically bring the air cannon up to pressure. It'll come up to about 60 PSI in 30 seconds, which is not bad. And it'll automatically shut off, at which point there is a lithium polymer battery wired through these two switches in series, so that when you pull both together, that clicking is the sprinkler valve opening. And of course, that lets air from this chamber pass into the valve and into the barrel and whatever you have stuffed in it goes flying. Now as for the uh, 3D printed trigger grips, brackets, and muzzle brake I designed, I'm gonna have all of these uploaded to Thingiverse and linked down in the description. So if you'd like to attempt to replicate this, you can find all the information for that over there. So other than launching plushes, what exactly does one do with a two inch bore air cannon? What are its potential uses? And one of those was, of course, using it to recover drones and other things that get stuck in trees. Basically, I have a 3D printed projectile that will pull a piece of seven pound test string all the way up and over a tree, at which point you can tie to it anything. Usually for recovering drones, you'd tie some larger 50 pound test cord to it, and that would let you just yank on the tree branch until your drone falls out. Another option is to use that seven pound test string to pull things into trees. And air cannons are pretty commonly used in the amateur radio world to pull large HF antennas, such as uh, long wire antennas, or even small compact mobile repeater boxes into trees as well. And of course, the more altitude you get with an antenna, the longer range you get because you aren't being interrupted by the horizon or other things in the vicinity. I'm sure some of you are thinking the exact same things I'm thinking, such as what if we were to make 3D printed payloads with parachutes that contained ESP32 Wi-Fi modules or Raspberry Pi Zeros with software-defined radios? Basically, launchable, disposable, pwn projectiles, I would guess you could call them. And we're going to talk about one of those such payloads that I've been working on for a while, 
after we thank our sponsors. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. So this is the canister drone. This is a project I've been working on for quite some time. And just as I was mentioning before, it is meant to be a flying pwn projectile. And it will be able to contain things such as, not Raspberry Pi Zeros because it's a bit too small, but uh, it could contain other single board computers, ESP32 Wi-Fi modules, software-defined radios, lots of possibilities. Of course, FPV thermal cameras as well. But this is something we're going to dig more into at a later date. I just want to give you all a teaser and see if you are actually interested in this. And who knows, maybe one of these days we can pare down a pineapple and launch that out of an air cannon too. Or maybe we just need a bigger air cannon? Now, if you too would like to get Wi-Fi pineapples and other things to launch out of air cannons, I don't think I can actually say that. Now, if you'd like to get your own Hack5 swag, such as stickers, pineapples, and more, be sure to check out the Hack Shop. And with that, this has been Hack5. I've been Glitch. Glitch out. <laughs>